Hey guys, what's going on? It is Stark and Rin. Yay! I travel a lot, whether it's work or going home. I'm originally from Pennsylvania, so I've been in many plane rides in my life. There's always some sort of issue or just moment where I'm like, this can't be real life, right? Today I want to talk to you about plane rides and struggles on planes. I know we all have them. You can't tell me you've ever had a plane ride. That was absolutely perfect. I'm sure there was one negative thought in your mind or an easy thought or something. I mean, I'm not alone in thinking this, at least I hope. You can tell me that you've had a perfect plane ride in your life. Then you comment below, you tell me because I wanna hear about it because I just don't believe it. One thing I love about plane rides is when I have a window seat. I get to see what's going on. If there's any emergency outside, I feel like I'm the first to know, AKA if the wing happens to come off, I know and I can prepare myself mentally for my death. But one of the bad things about having a window seat is when you have to go to the bathroom because middle seat person and aisle seat person are going to have to probably get up because most people can't just sit back. Last time I was on a plane, I had to do this and the person next to me is sleeping. I'm like, do I wake them up? or do I try to scoot past them and maybe they won't know. So the timing is perfect because the flight attendants are coming by, right? You see them up ahead taking the drink orders and you're like, oh heck yeah, that free drink. But eventually the flight attendants with the car are gonna pass you and then you're really trapped because you can't go back to the bathroom then because they're blocking the aisle. Do I wake them up? Do I not wake them up? Tick tock, time's going by, flight attendants coming up. I'm like, okay, that's it. I'm waking you up because if I don't get back to the bathroom in two seconds, I'm gonna be barricaded in by the freaking huge cart that takes up the whole row, which is probably a safety hazard. Think about that. How the heck do you get around the drink cart? I mean, I guess you jump over, but that thing is like six feet high. Okay, maybe it's like four feet high. So I made a decision. I'm like, all right, that's it. Wake her up. I get into the bathroom, washing my hands. Something is wrong with the faucet because it sprays all over me. Great, people are gonna think that I feed my pants. I'll just wipe it off with some paper towels. Maybe it will dissolve by the time I get back to my seat. Well, there's no paper towels, so I have wet hands, trying to dry it with toilet paper, which is the worst because it gets in little pieces all over your hands. Absolutely disgusting. So you have little piece of toilet paper on you, you don't know where. So I just shook it off, went out. My outfit is soaked. People are gonna come back and be like, oh, is there a shower in there? Oh, I can clean up. No, there's not a shower. It was a faulty faucet. Stark feels really bad for me right now. My favorite part of plane rides is the ending. Not because landings are fun, but because after you land, everyone panics to get up out of the plane as quickly as possible. Even the people in the very last row, scrambling, standing up, why the heck are you standing up? You're the last off the plane, there's no way you're getting off first. You have a good half hour to wait, so you have time to watch an entire TV episode. Stop standing up, you're making me feel anxious and you're irritating me. Check out my last vlog where I did the lime challenge and I almost ate an entire lime, peel and all, I'm not joking. It was one of the worst ideas I've ever had. I can't even look at the color green anymore. Make sure you subscribe to our channel so you can see more Sir Ken Green stuff. He likes when I bounce him like a baby. And a new channel trailer coming soon too. You guys aren't gonna miss that. It was really cool. Stark and I were in a green room. Make sure you subscribe so you can check that out. Peace.